Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about this beautiful Awaze Styline 85 that I've been growing in for the last three months or so at home. And actually it's going to be transported to my therapist's waiting room. And the idea is that it's going to be a focal point for people waiting to see their therapist and it will hopefully provide some interest and relaxation for the clients. I've really enjoyed growing it in and I'm really looking forward to seeing it in action, so to speak, in, in the waiting room and I'm sure it will create a lot of interest and help people out. Livestock at the moment are just some mono shrimp, there's some platys and a lamb pie in there as well. I will remove the fish and put some new display fish in there later, which we'll talk about another time. Plants are all easy. We've got some Aero Camel in Vietnam, Hygrophila polysperma, Ludwigia, Repens rubin, Eleocharis. Here's some Hygrophila polysperma, a very fast growing weed, which is great for helping to prevent algae. There's also Ludwigia palustris, super red in there as well. Various crypts, which are obviously slow growing. There's a little bit of melt there, but they'll come to no problem. There's some crypt balancer in the back. And here we have uh, the very vibrant Ludwigias. So here we're going to drain the water, ready to move the tank. Moving tanks is quite a delicate process, but I've done a few over the years, simply drain the water down as far as we can. And net the fish, of course, and then I'll leave the shrimp in there for transportation. It's only a 30 minute drive and a couple of centimetres or an inch or so of water in the bottom is going to be fine to keep those shrimp happy. It is a, a heavy tank when you're moving it on your own, so just full disclaimer, do be careful when you're moving these things, probably uh, at least get two people to help. Uh, here is a top down view of the, of the drained tank here and uh, just one piece of wood actually and uh, three three stones very simple layout and i just wanted to showcase how easy it can be to create a beautiful planted tank to the to the clients long term i'll probably put a little qr code or an information sheet so people can actually see how these things operate a, a planted tank we do have co2 injection just at a low rate just to ensure the plants are well fed here we are delicately moving the tank into the boot of my car that's the trunk for our american friends we call the trunk the boot and it will be kind of packed obviously appropriately to make sure it doesn't shift too much in transportation and here we are just in the small waiting room it's only a, a relatively small building but it does provide a host of therapies actually hypnotherapy physiotherapy um, psychotherapy, that's what I, so I see my uh, therapist for psychotherapy for various uh, mental health issues that I've uh, encountered over the years. And it's a case of maintenance, you know, it's just like maintaining an aquarium really. You have to maintain your own mind in order to function optimally, I guess, in uh, today's society, which is quite a challenge for some people, including myself. So here's the tank, it's filled in, filled up. Here we have a little view of the waiting room. You can just see how small it is. And here's my friend, Jamie. Jamie's actually the son of my therapist and he is going to be a keen fish keeper, I'm sure. He's really taken a real interest in this tank and long-term I'm going to train him up on how to maintain it. So in my absence, hopefully Jamie can take it on. And then in the longer term future, if he can prove himself on this aquarium, I'm sure his mum will let him keep an aquarium at home. Uh, these tidying up the waiting room, but as you can see, it's offering a, a beautiful focal point for for this area and uh, really interested to see how this develops. We'll be visiting the tank every couple of weeks or so and um, in exchange for gifting this tank and aquascope to, to the therapy room, I will um, have basically free therapy. So it's a win-win situation. And more importantly, it's just a beautiful way to showcase aquascaping to a broader audience that may have not experienced it. So I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Do hit the like if you did. And I'll give updates of this tank, of course, in the future. And uh, take care of yourselves. Cheerio.